Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I wanted to come out and share with you, uh, it's a dream and a message the Lord gave me last night. And uh, when I woke up this morning, I I didn't even remember it. I was just going about my day. And then um, when I looked at the dream, I, I looked at my dream journal and I read it immediately. Uh, the message just just came out and I knew this was a message that is for the entire body of Christ and uh, intended to encourage you to press on, uh, to understand that whatever pain, whatever suffering you're going through, it's not for nothing. Uh, all that we are going through is doing something in us. It's doing something to draw the lost to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when we're struggling, sometimes it's easy to forget that there is a purpose behind all of this. And so uh, in this dream I was given, I just had this, this vision, this picture. I was watching these people and they were walking on, it was a narrow road and it, it kind of like winded around and it would go up and there were a lot of people on it. I understood these were God's children, the Lord's people. And I remembered so seeing, um, one particular man just walking with his head down and he was quiet. He, he wasn't saying anything. But then there were others who were calling out to the Lord. They were crying out to him. They were in pain. They were really struggling. They were really suffering. Everybody on that road was suffering in some way. They were dealing with some kind of pain and struggle. I knew that. But then in the next scene of the dream, I was standing there in front of a young man. Um, I don't know, he might have been 18, 17. And he was telling me how he got saved. And I, I remember explaining to him that I had been praying for him. I had prayed for him and I embraced him. And I said, uh, you are precious. And I remember using the word precious. I was telling him he is precious, how precious he is. When you go out into the scriptures and you look up the word precious, it's often associated with our faith. Uh, in James chapter 5, verse 7, James tells us that uh, the fruit of the earth is precious, which this also could speak to the souls, the, um, the gathering in of the lost souls. They're, the harvest of souls is very precious. Now, as the Apostle Peter talks about faith, he often connects it to a trial uh, that will strengthen and grow our faith. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7, he says that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And then in 2 Peter um, chapter 1, verse 1, the Apostle Peter says, to those who have obtained a like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, so our faith is something that is going to be tested. It is something that um, is proven through the trials and the tribulations and the difficulties that we go through. Anybody can say they have faith, but until it is tested, it isn't proven. So right now, what I was seeing in that first part of the dream is that the faith of the believer, every believer, is being tested. It, it appeared to me right now that each one is struggling, each one is suffering. But it's like what James said about the, the fruit of the earth being precious. Every soul is precious to God. And the fact, church, that we are here right now for a time such as this is so important because there are souls that each and every one of us are intended to impact and draw to the Lord Jesus that nobody else will ever be able to lead to the Lord. So it's important for us to see that we have a job, we have a duty here, and that in the end, after all is said and done, these souls, like the one, I, the young man that I had been praying for and had come to the Lord, we're going to see that harvest of souls because of the work that we're doing. And that includes the suffering that we're going through, the trials and the tribulations. Uh, it is a part of bringing forth fruit. We know that a farmer is never going to grow anything unless they go out, cultivate the soil, plant the seeds, water the seeds. All of this is a part of bringing in a harvest, which is very precious. 
but how much more precious is a harvest of souls to the Father? All right, and so we need to think about uh, all that we're doing right now has a purpose that is intended to bring people to Jesus. There's nothing more important that we could be doing than leading the lost to the Lord. And in these last hours, while we're waiting for Jesus, I encourage you, uh, try to turn your focus on to the Lord. Try to turn your focus on to the things that he's doing and, and ask him to show you uh, who you can pray for, who you can maybe encourage or plant a seed of truth in their hearts uh, that will draw them to the Lord Jesus, that as many as possible will come to Jesus before the rapture and be counted worthy to escape all that's coming upon this earth. We, we can only do our part uh, but it's important that we don't lose hope. It's important we don't lose momentum, which can happen, you know, when our faith is being tested and we're struggling and suffering in so many different ways. And I know many of you are. And we just have to uh, choose to keep our focus on Jesus, remembering whatever we're struggle, struggling with, Jesus is bigger than that. All right. And with his help, we can get through it, not without but with his help, his help. So keep turning to him daily, church, for the help you need. And in closing, I want to share the words of the Apostle Paul with you, which I really believe sum up this whole message well. In Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, the Apostle Paul encouraged the church of Galatia by saying, And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap a harvest if we do not lose heart, so important. If we do not lose heart, we've got to keep pressing on. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith, especially to the body of Christ, one another. Look for opportunities to encourage, uh, to share your faith, to share encouragement, uh, to build one another up. We, I don't believe we have long church but we are here still, and so we still have a job, we still have a duty, and we need to occupy. And remember, those souls are so precious to the Lord, and so the, the fight that we are fighting is for them, all right? Let's keep that in mind. And as always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.